played in this park right over here, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, right there. So what did we do? We played on the swings. We um we figured out that there were some bells. Yeah. We had a great time. Uncle hurt his butt. <laughs> yeah. And I hurt my legs. Uh-huh. Mostly he hurt his butt. Uh-huh. And we went on the little spinner roof thingy and Uncle got super yeah. dizzy. Yeah. Before we fully dig into that story though, editing corn, can we get these two other laundry bags done first? And I really am using the last of all of this fabric because for this last panel here, I'm having to patch together a few of these smaller pieces. Even have to patch together a little piece of this batting here. Make sure to feed this underneath so it doesn't get caught in the presser foot. Now the delightfully repetitive task of quilting all four of these panels. Quite monotonous if I do say so myself. So in fact, editing corn, why don't you give us a preview of what uncle and uh, Liam got up to and I'll finish this up here. So one of our major fun activities was that we went to the rec room, it's an arcade and oh, the flashing lights, the sounds, the buzzing ever. The kid was overstimulated. Oh my goodness, he didn't know where to look, what to do, what game to play. And yet, interestingly enough, he always kept returning to the classic. We played Pac-Man at least 10 times. And then, with all the tickets that we won from playing the games, we got to pick out some little trinkets at the gift shop. We got treats and we munched on sugar and candies on our way home. Well, that looks like it was good fun. Moving on to putting these together now. Now the fun bit where I pop open the corner. Sew the shut. For the outside of the bags, I think I'm being clever here because yes, I am doing the gray at the bottom again, but I've got that white bag that I made last week and that one's gonna be for my whites and lights. This next one here, a colorful fabric and this is gonna be for my colored laundry that needs to be done. And then for this third and final one, I'm going completely solid dark gray. That way there's always a visual cue of what color that specific laundry bag is. And I don't have to label them. I mean, come on. I've been a clever boy, haven't I? I've been a clever, clever boy. It was quite time consuming last week turning my handles right way around after I'd sewn them. So I'm gonna lay down my interfacing here, put down my first layer of fabric, then pin and a string, poke that in on the end here, lay that along in the middle, and then finally put down my second layer, stitch it all shut. And I'm manually going to turn around the first little bit on the end that does have the needle in it. Oh, oh, seems to be working. Woo! Look at that! Clever boy, indeed. Clever, clever boy. <laughs> uh, glad I couldn't use myself. And finally, sew this all together. And here they are in all their glory, my laundry bags. And one uh, teensy weensy little thing, I wish I would have lined up the stripes here, but 
Hindsight is 2020. It doesn't matter. Let me just uh, get to sorting here. Dark towel that goes in this dark gray one here. Oh, look at that. Some of my shorts, some dirty rags. They look like they belong in this colorful bag. And then finally, oh, it's a, it's a bed sheet. Well, it's white. Let's, let's put it in here. You get the idea. I'm going to finish sorting here, but editing corn, let's finish out with some Uncle and Liam time. Besides the aforementioned activities, we also went out for ice cream and we found this very chilly splash pad, which made for good fun. We went to go see the new Spider-Man movie. We went to the beach again, and this time we actually went in the water. Ooh, so cold still. The activities didn't stop, but we also had to have some slower activities to just really stretch out the time. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do 360 with the skateboard. Nope. Oh, seven. Oh, eight. Yes. yes. Eight times a charm. And boy, is it important to stretch out the timing. So we also made our own chess set. See, look, there we go. That's one finished. Pretty cool, isn't it? Huh? Peter, here you Perfect. That's one. All right. But the times are a changing. Things are officially embarrassing now. Walking down the street, I would sing, a wimbo wet, a wimbo wet, a wimbo wet, a wimbo wet. Where he would then chime in with, in the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Which immediately had to be halted as soon as people approached. And then once they passed, we could start again. However, by the end of day two, I just started singing even louder when people walked by and he started to get into it a little bit himself. Oh, and I also promised I was gonna get this chess set done, so let me just get to work here. All that's left is creating the base for my characters. A little tape to hold that on. Right, I don't actually know the rules of chess. He's got a video about this, let me go watch that. 